Hey guys, today we're at home. Had a nice snow yesterday, so we're gonna be stuck inside today. Uh, Allie's rolling around in the kitchen here. I'm getting ready to set up a couple things for uh, a behind the shoot today. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of product photography. Uh, I also have the, uh, the washer going. It's a little bit of noise from being a stay-at-home dad. Uh, I'm gonna set up this shot here in a little bit. We're gonna photograph some bullet uh, bullet burning, and uh, we're gonna do a couple different setups. Instead of flying through all the edits as a time lapse, I would just uh, pick out the couple and edit them in real time. So I'll go ahead and do that today for you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and set up. We have TT 600s by Godox. Those are just going to go directly on the table. Our main light for the shot that we're going to be using is the Flashpoint Explorer 600. And it's going to be in this 24 inch softbox with a double diffuser. So we have a bottle of bourbon in our glass. Have all this light coming in from this window. Now I'm gonna focus right on the B for a bullet. There we go. I'm actually gonna bring up the uh, the exposure in post. That's our ambient shot. I'm gonna kick on our kickers here. So I'm actually gonna put these slightly behind the bottle. And we're gonna go ahead and do a test shot. Cool, so as you can see, Completely knocked out the ambient light. Really cool light coming in from the glass onto the uh, the paper label, which actually I might go ahead and do a shot of just that so it wraps around. So we're gonna go ahead and take this shot real quick. Cool. So that looks pretty sweet. I'm getting a little bit of a highlight over here that I'm not a fan of. Let's so actually move this one back behind to shine through the whiskey. Not exactly sure what this is gonna look like, but we're gonna do another shot real quick. Oh, here we go. Sweet, so light coming back from the uh, back is actually shining into the lens, it's causing that, uh, that cloudy halo-ish type thing off to the back there. Um, we're gonna move this light over here so it goes more across the, the whole paper label. We're going to actually turn a little bit more away from the other side or wrap around a little bit more. We're going to do another shot just like this. Same thing. Awesome. So the light did end up wrapping around a little bit. Light coming from the back is still shining right in there. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. Instead of compositing those two, we can add in another light, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Isn't that cool? Yeah! So that lit up the bottom of it. Yeah, looks pretty sweet. We're gonna take softbox, turn it sideways here, make sure I don't knock over the bottle. So all of this light is gonna be pouring around the front side of the bottle. And it's also gonna be coming right into the lens here, so we're gonna see what that does. Sweet. That's pretty good. So we're gonna take a, a quick break and we're going to have a snack. So we'll be right back. Are you having a snack? Is it yummy? Is it stuck to your hand? You can't find it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. So this time, what I'm gonna do is put the light directly behind like so. Just for fun, see what happens. So a cool thing to do for this would be to and we're just gonna pick up the best one of those. More like this. See what 
that looks like here. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That's gonna be all of our images. I'm gonna end up doing a couple different things on the editing end. And uh, so yeah, I'll show you all that right now. All right, so I have all my images into Lightroom and I'm just going to go through real quick and pick out the ones that we want to keep. A lot of the ones that we're going to keep are the ones that I featured in the video already, but I just want to make sure that there's none that I missed. So I'm just going to go through real quick and pick out our ambient, our one with the kickers, uh, the one where I shake it with the backlight, maybe one with the light straight over top. So we're going to do that now. So we went through and we picked out the ones that we like. We're gonna do one more go through of the ones that we have picked out and just narrow it down a little bit more from there. All right, so now we have them all narrowed down. We have a total of five. What we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and run through these edits real quick. Uh, I'll actually bring you right through into the screen. So here we go. Our first shot here is gonna be our ambient shot. First and foremost, what I do personally is I set a white and black point. So I'll hold down on my alt button. And when I pull up this, it shows me as soon as something starts to get blown out. So um, that's pretty good for my white point. Black point is probably pretty set. I'm gonna bring up the sharpness just a little bit, but I'm also gonna bring up the shadows just so we have more detail here and the bullet bourbon on the uh, the paper label here. I'm gonna raise the clarity up just just a tad down. I want to see what an 8 by 10 looks like. I have my shadows all the way up, but I'm going to check my white point one more time here. Make sure my whites are white. Whites are white. Make sure something is at least a little bit black. There we go. So cool. That's going to be our ambient shot right there, um, straight out of Lightroom. So once we pull it into Photoshop, we'll do a little bit more fancy stuff to it. So on to the next shot. This is the shot where we had the light coming in from this way and another light coming in from behind. What I'm gonna do is, before I really do anything, I'm just gonna make sure that I like this shot the way that I had envisioned cropping it. I wanted to get rid of this, this crazy highlight here. I wasn't digging that. So I wanted to crop in. Let me just uh, go ahead and set my white and black points here. Let's see what they look like. So there's a white point, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna see what if I brush this in a little bit, raise my exposure here, and I'm just going to simply brush this in here, see if I can bring that out a little bit. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to, let's see, bring down, highlights are fine, I'm going to bring up my contrast. I think that we're going to go in with a tighter crop with an 8x10. Awesome. So there is our, our tight shot of the paper label. This is going to be a shot where we have a kicker on this side, a kicker on this side, and one main light coming in directly from above. You can see the highlight here. Like I did before, I'm gonna set my white and black points to set. I'm gonna bring up my shadows just a little bit to bring out some more detail in the cap there. I'm gonna go directly to the next shot and I'm just gonna click previous and see what my edits from the previous shot did. That's pretty good. My blacks are definitely black. My whites I'm gonna bring up and we're gonna end up cropping this. So I'll show you how to do that in Photoshop to get rid of our, our, uh, our softbox here. Super simple edit. Last but not least is gonna be our splashy shot. Blacks are gonna be nice and dark. Whites I'm gonna bring up so our background is actually white. So this will end up being cropped pretty close to this or I'll end up doing a uh, off-center horizontal crop. What we're gonna do now is we're going to Control A, and we're gonna go back to our grid and we're gonna export these into our work file. We're gonna let those export and we're gonna import them into Photoshop. So yeah, there's our ambient shot. Uh, I'm gonna check my levels here. If you want to, you can mess with your, your midpoint too. If you wanna bring that up and brighten, kind of like the overall. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty, what I'm gonna do is, um, I have an action that I like, it's called the visa. Um, it actually adds structure and makes things pop. Let's full screen it here. Scroll down a little bit. Here is structure. I'm just gonna make it pop just a little bit. We're just gonna go ahead and okay that. If we don't like the way that this looks, we can always adjust the layer opacity or we can brush off things that we don't like. So there is our 
uh, here's the visa that's uh, after the visa is before so really what it does it brings out details especially like around edges um, really not much I would really do to this shot except maybe add just the slightest little bit of a, uh, a vignette and what I usually do is I have an action called yin yang and um, it just, just makes two adjustment layers you can just use this adjustment layer I, probably a lot of people will say that I'm silly for doing this but this is just the way that I have been doing it for a little while so there is before there's after uh, this is going to be our straight from Lightroom edit and here is going to be our final edit from Photoshop before and after before and after cool so we're going to go ahead and save this guy we're going to move on to our second shot we're going to check our white point here there we go I am going to add the visa to this one too so if you add the visa to shots of portraits make sure you, you uh, mask it off of their faces because that just doesn't look good let's see so here it is before and after the visa and then I'm going to do the same thing with the yin and yang take off on the label here um, so there's before and after this is straight from Lightroom and here's going to be our Photoshop edit pretty simple edit it was it was easy to do straight out of Lightroom so we're going to keep that just like that but for now we're going to save this as is Next one's going to be two kickers, and I like coming in from the top. Since that's good. I bring up my mids, it brings up more detail in the bottle itself. I am going to, just for just for fun, I'm going to see what the Visa does to this as well. It's really going to make these edges pop um, in the paper label itself. So the Visa really makes the label pop. And this is going to be... Our uh, over the head shot, two kickers. This is going to be a pretty simple edit. So, what we're going to do is use our marquee tool and select all the way up to the bottom here. And we're going to press Ctrl T, and it's going to allow us to transform this out of the photo. There we go. One more time here. Just going to transform that a little bit out. There we go. Actually, transform the whole thing and center the bottle up just a little bit. There we go. There's before, there's after. Um, I am going to bring the visa in. Once again, you guys had so many questions about the way that I edit, and it's just like the same thing over and over. A little bit on the cork here, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, we're going to check our white and black ones real quick. Blacks are going to be super black. Then whites are actually going to bring up a little bit more. Nice. So I'm pretty happy with that one really like that one and uh last but not least we're going to do our high key shot so we're going to set our white and black i am going to go ahead and crop this i'm going to go ahead and get rid of my hand so the easiest way to do this is make sure the background is white in that spot it is and what i can do is literally just brush in white so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do make sure my opacity is at 100 and once we get up close to the bottle here, zoom in. I'm going to bring in the crop just a tad. That's good. I like the off-center crop on this one. I'm going to play around with the brightness and the darkness of these and see if I can bring out the letters themselves. Lighter. A little cross here. I'm going to take out this little bit that I put over here by the W. I'm going to check our white and black points. So that's definitely a better black point. We made this line here a little bit more contrasty. I think I'm pretty happy with this shot here. That's, that's awesome. Just for fun, I'm going to bring in the crop just a little bit more so we get a little bourbon in there. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that right there. I think that's, that's pretty solid. So we're going to save this guy, and we're going to do one final walkthrough of our image.
this here and we're gonna be all done.